Well, hello everyone, Dylan here. Happy Throwback Thursday, and the rotation leads us to a Galador review, and this one is on the Keck Powerizer from 2002, of course. So, now this which does have some features in, but uh, but I won't cover them all in this video for which I'll get into later. But yeah, so I'll just start out with the uh, most obvious look from it of course but yeah so for the for the legs and feet to which or the, the feet of which quite large and thick chunky of course which as I rotate around as he nicely detailed with the silver printing and paintwork on, on it of course and also if you can kind of bit notice is that these uh, legs of which uh, do like look kind of close to like all of Jens's legs, of course. So, uh, hang on. Like, uh, here's Jens. Uh, with, and if, if you can, uh, well, if you can kind of notice that the all of the legs are kind of similar, but this one of which is like a little bit thicker in the shin area, of course. Kind of bit how it's all like one solid piece rather than three separate pieces, of course. But probably wanted to save that for the electronic bits, of course. But yeah. But as for the like main body area part of it, which does have some nice ridging in it, just like we had on Gorm, of course. And of course, and also a few hollow spaces there, but it's kind of for the microphone bit of it. And of course, some nice silver printed detailing to it and also like Gorm and Gorm Deluxe is all this rigid detailing and it kind of cool and all and on to the arms of which and of course a single uh, connecting bit to there and for these arms of which like this lower part also kind of similar to uh, Jens's uh, flamethrower uh, bit to it but instead like molded inwards and you can see it's like two different uh, bits kind of stuck together of course in these claw bits which quite interesting for that and kind of cool and as for the uh, head part of which as you can see they just comprise of th two separate pieces as you can see how is this upper cover area that fits over it and also the head which is actually Gorm's uh, head piece which is to make it be evil of course and but you can also swap it out with what it also comes with is Yen's head piece like as it said in one video turn good to evil of course Uh, let me get that on. Okay. And so, front view of which in size, but whereas the back part, which gets interesting, which as he has three buttons and also a, a little electronic viewing screen. And also to point out is that why I have the battery uh, section for that is because when I got it used off BrickLink, it the battery compartment just was a little mucked up and can't get it to work in it. So a little bit of a bummer, but and so now you're wondering like, why do I even have it anyways? Well, I don't know, just a completion display kind of thing, but whatever, or just completion to the collection, but whatever. But, but although a YouTuber, the Boulder Boulder does have a showed in his review on this is how the electronic screen if it works but you can go check that out if you want but yeah but anyways if you like press these buttons and you can play little games on it which but and of course that microphone bit from before you it can actually interact with the tv series with the series of it and also the kind of uh, uh, last generation games of it that were out on like uh, Game Boy Advance, GameCube, and PS2, and PC CD-ROM. 
of which last generation gaming stuff, and also with the Galador website, which no longer exists, and also with another one of, and also with another Powerizer, of course. So you can like swap and trade it with a friend's one. So uh, yeah. And oh, what else? Not much, but yeah. So now on to the final verdict. So for my, so for my overall verdict, I think this is which a quite good, a uh, quite cool figure for what how it is like. This might be like the only one with electronic features, which probably came from like the Manas of Bionicle year prior, but yeah. Well, but of course, since it's early 2000s, they were, of course, we were starting to get adapted to odd electronic stuff, of course, and also, of course, quite good to have some kind of standout of the, of the line. Although I think the I think interactive could have been a little bit more with other course probably led to the recent electronic Super Mario and whatnot but yeah but of course probably but of course when it comes to Lego and electronics uh of course mindstorms and boost are kind of the highlight but yeah but at least this which was quite a good one for the times but yeah and so now if you're looking to get this set for the collection, well, definitely pick it up. And, or I mean, if you have, and if you still have this set from back in the day, well, I hope you had some good memories of it. And for, if you're looking to get this for the collection, and, or and, like if you can, and well, definitely get it. If you can find it that still works, also worthy of that on eBay Bricklink, whatever. And that is it with this video. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe. Thanks for watching.